then we're going to tighten up through the pelvic floor. This is how we get into those deep abdominals, is tightening through the pelvic floor. Think about a sling between the hip bones and think about pulling from front to back as well. So we're tightening up and then we're lifting up alternate legs. So lifting and lowering, making sure the toes don't come too high. Plant the foot into the floor each time and lifting the leg, making sure you're folding at the hip. Push down into the floor and pick up. It may still be relevant, this alternate leg work, as far as the pelvis is concerned, because of course that pelvis is disrupted slightly through um, having the baby, holding the baby there through pregnancy and the relaxing that's released and that helps the pelvis to open up to allow the baby to come through. If you had a C-section, you will still have the um, instability around the pelvis because of the relaxing. And it's more important to get those deep abdominals switched on. Good. Okay, bring that leg down. Make sure the feet are still hip width apart. We're going to be lowering one leg out to the side and coming back up. Now, this is one thing that if you had SPD during the pregnancy, you will have been encouraged not to open up through the knees. So it's something to get your confidence back with. That'll be something that you'll have worked on within my part one but it's still good to keep on going with these. No matter how strong people get within my classes, I still start off with this preparation phase, which is isolating those deep abdominals. So we may be layering up with the big muscles today, but we need to still isolate those deep abdominals. With this exercise, I want you to think about headlights on the front of the hips here. We need to get to know our bodies again, where they are in space. So these hips do not want to be following the movements as the knee lowers out to the side. We're not moving into a stretch. We're just taking the leg as far as it will before the hips want to follow. You should still have those deep abdominals switched on. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Ribs down. Brilliant. Good stuff and then we're just moving on just very slightly bringing the leg up to tabletop stretching it away let me just shuffle up a little bit never enough room tabletop stretch the leg away as if you're pressing a button on that full wall coming back to tabletop each time and come back down other leg to tabletop stretch away pull back in and down so it's good to do some visualization work at this stage whilst we're building up and warming up those abdominals. We need to think about pulling the knee in towards the chest against some kind of invisible force. A lot of work after you've had a lot of switching off of these abdominals, which is essentially what happens in the pregnancy, um, is telling them to work again. So part of it is the work that you do on them, but part of it is the mental side talking to the muscles and telling them to work. Good. Keep your breath going within these exercises. Last one. Brilliant. So how I like to set up these, these muscles here, your six pack muscle and your obliques, which are allowed to work. We want to tighten them up um, over the top of your deep abdominals. I love this hundreds um, because they help you to draw the ribs down towards the pelvis and they help you to work these and really think about working them. I want you to think about turning a rectangle down into a square. So bringing those corners together and drawing it down into a square. But I also want you to think about around the back as well. So with the hundreds, we're trying to shorten this whole section from the front and from the back. We're shortening the whole section. We do that by pushing the fingertips down towards the toes and pulling the shoulder blades down the back as well. We need to think about the pelvic floor. If this is a tin can, um, we've got the, the surrounding bit here and we've got the bottom of the can, which is the pelvic floor. If we just push everything in that direction, everything wants to push out of the bottom of the can there. We need to keep that locked up 
as well so we need to think about lifting up through the pelvic floor too as we're pushing everything else down in that direction so i'm sure you're all raring to go with this um a set of hundreds bring your chin to your chest shoulders off stretch your fingertips down towards the toes keeping that arch in the back and up and down with the hands nice strong movements up and down with the hands if you want to you can breathe in for five and out for five two three four five out two three four five four five out two three four five one more with the two arms and then we're going to bring the right hand behind the head just help to tuck the chin a little bit more and then again out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five other side stretch the other arm down by the side in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five last ten there good and lower yourself back down again good have a little shuffle around reset everything um and then we're just going to move on to another exercise with the legs up in the air. So you'll remember um, in the first one, we did right leg up, left, right down, left down. And then we can do that obviously on the other side. So we're going to do a few more of those. Remembering when you peel up that second leg, squeezing everything in, trying to prep for that second leg lifting off. This is all very important. We want to strengthen these abdominal muscles inwards not bulging outwards so if we draw in keep that arch in the lower back think about the pelvic floor right leg up pull those ribs down towards the pelvis at the front peel up the other one right leg back down left leg back down good so again we're still on that set of exercises at the end of the first part one but we're establishing these a little bit more and we can pick up the speed very slightly now as well. Good. Two more of these because I want to move you on to the next level. Good stuff. Leading with the left first. Good. Three. Good. One last one. Brilliant. Give those legs a little shake. It's all right to ache a little bit in the thighs here. Um, but use that ache to make you think, I need to be stronger, stronger, stronger through this section here. Um, so let's move on. Right leg up, ribs down, tummy drawn in. Pick up the left. And then we're tapping the toes down here. Good. So we can do this a little bit slower, of course. Or we can pick up the speed a little bit faster, keep drawing in through that pelvic floor. It really helps to have your hands on your lower tummy here because you can feel what it's doing. Your breaths still need to come into the lower outer lungs. We still need to be drawing down through here. Good. Lifting the head and shoulders up if you need to, to check everything. That we need good endurance through these muscles, hence I've been going for a little while here. Good. And then one leg down at a time. And have a breath. You should have been breathing all the way through that, but um, obviously it's nice to get a nice deep breath in, in between each of these exercises. Now I love a set of hundreds in between each set um, of different exercises and it really helps to prep these muscles. What we're really looking at is shortening this distance here and practicing drawing in and there's nothing like the hundreds to do that. Chin to chest, shoulders up, hands stretched down by your sides but we're going to bring one leg to tabletop now. So up and down with the hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, last ten on this side, scooping in through here, good, bring that leg down, stay up, pick up the other one, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, the next day you can put one hand behind the head. Last turn. Brilliant. Bring that leg down and the head and shoulders down. Lovely. Have a little wiggle to make sure that um, 
everything slightly relaxes off. So we're going to come on to the next level of those knee opening exercises. Like I've said before, really important with that pelvic stability and a great thing to get your confidence back up. Right leg up to tabletop, draw those ribs down, pull the shoulders down away from the ears, tuck the chin. Pick up the other one, knees and toes now pinned together. We're opening one knee at a time. Good. Squeezing in through that lower tummy. For me, this is a really good one to access these lower abdominal muscles. Have a little check, make sure those toes are low enough. Mine drift up a little bit every so often. Keep your breathing relaxed. And down into your lower outer lungs. If you are abdominal breathing into the front here, it will disrupt how these deep abdominals are working. So make sure you're breathing into the lower outer lungs. You can have your hands on your lower tummy there to make sure that it's not expanding too much with your breathing. <sighs> Trying to direct it into the lower outer lungs, lower outer ribs. Brilliant. Four more. Four, and bring one leg down at a time. Again, those quads are going to be feeling it a little bit. And we can do a couple of roll-ups in between, which just eases those off slightly. Tuck under, roll down. Rolling up, send those knees away, which gives you a better quad stretch there. Good. And one more. Brilliant. And as you're getting to know now, another set of funders are going to make them a little bit harder. So um, what we're going to do is both legs up to tabletop. So right leg up, draw those ribs down, squeeze in the tummy, pick up the left, chin to chest, shoulders off, fingertips down towards your toes and up and down the hands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, scooping in the lower tummy. Last 10, in this position, stretch out one leg. Now these are gonna start getting a little bit difficult if you don't feel ready for this, don't do it. Scooping in that lower tummy. If your tummy's bulging out, it's a little bit too soon. Good, last 10. Then the other leg, tighten it through that thigh. Scoop in that lower tummy. Like I say, if it's too hard, you can come down and you can carry on. Or you can bring the leg in and carry on. Last 10. Good. 